Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, this is Redberry Wheel here, and welcome back to another Civil Air Patrol video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about Blue's outer garments that are approved to wear in Civil Air Patrol. And there are quite a few of them. I don't have all of them, but I will show you the ones that I do have and how to properly wear them, in addition to the ones that I don't have, with some nice little pictures from Cap Regulation 39-1. So, let's go ahead and get started with the first one that it discusses, which is the pullover sweater. Now, if you get the pullover sweater, you wear it on top of your blues uniform and you, you make sure that your blue shirt isn't popping out from underneath it. And if you have NCO grade, you wear it on your collar and you can choose to wear your tie tab or tie because it is optional. You don't have to, but it is something that you can do. You are not allowed to roll the sleeves up though. Okay, so you either wear it or you take it off. There is no in-between. But a nice one that does have an in-between is the next one that's listed, which is the cardigan. I've never personally worn this in public, but I do have one and it's, it's kind of funky. And I also think this one's a little big on me. Yeah, it's a, it's a little big on me, but how you do it so so just like the sweater i didn't mention officer grade officer grade you wear it on the shoulders like this so it, it goes the same way for both the sweater and for the cardigan and there there are some awesome pictures in 39-1 that show this as well if you want to you can wear a tie tab or a tie it is optional when you are outdoors and you're wearing it you are required to keep it buttoned up entirely but if you are indoors you may unbutton it and if you are wearing it buttoned, all buttons always must be done. And if you're wearing it unbuttoned, then all un buttons must be undone. And that, remember, that's indoors. You aren't supposed to have it unbuttoned outdoors. And so this this is a sort of like an in-between between the pullover sweater and, um, well, like a blues jacket. And something else that I do want to mention is that the two that I, I just mentioned, the sweater and the cardigan, may only be worn with class B, which means you can only wear the, the light blue shirt and you can't wear like your class A dark blue jacket underneath this. So the next one is the lightweight blue jacket. And this one is nice because it's got a zipper on the front and it's got two pockets. So it's very functional, it's very nice. And so while you are wearing this uniform, you may wear a tie with it. it. This one you can only wear with class B, so you you can't wear it on top of your class A coat. And see, this is sewn down, so I can either get a Velcro version of my insignia or take it off and sew it back on in order to put my, my little epaulets on. So if you are a cadet officer, you can put the metal on the shoulder, so like the miniatures or the full size, and if you're an NCO, then you put it on the collar right here. And if you're a senior member NCO, you put it on the sleeve with the normal placement that you would see on uh, the regulations. Okay, so the last one that we have is the top coat. Now look how long this thing is. So it's supposed to be between your the bottom of your kneecap and midway through your calf in terms of length. So if you need to, you can always adjust the hem like this one, I think, yeah, I think I had adjusted the hem on this one, maybe? I'm not sure. But this one is for, like, if you're going out into the rain and it's going to be cold. It's very thick. It's got a liner on it. So let me show you the liner. Also, the lightweight jacket can have a liner. But so there is a zipper here on the inside. And so you can see, like, the top part has a liner, kind of like a... A weird jacket thing that keeps it a little bit more insulated in the winter months when you are wearing your blues so it's it's a very nice thing that you can wear when you need to be outside for a long period of time during the the cold winter months so another note i want to make about the top coat here is that you can wear it with mess dress the u.s air force service dress or service uniforms so it's a very versatile uniform piece and if you're an NCO, cadet NCO, you wear the grade on the collar here. And if you're a cadet officer, you wear the normal or the miniature metal insignia on the coat epaulets. 
So I, I've i used this a few times. You can also wear this on top of your pullover or sweater. So it's good for layers. I had been asked in a comment, when do you wear a tie with your blues uniform? So I will explain. If you ever do the top button on your collar, like for your blues shirt, you wear a tie tab or a neck tie. So if you are wearing your class A's, you have to have a tie tab or a neck tie, and thus you would do the top button and wear it. And if you are wearing a long sleeve shirt, then you are required to wear a tie or a tie tab. If you are wearing short sleeves, like your class B short sleeves, you can choose to wear your tie or tie tab, but it's not necessarily required. It's just an optional thing. Sometimes first sergeants, they, they wear like they, they've got their little diamond and they've got their collar all tight so that they're getting stuck in the neck with the little top chevron, which is a, a fun thing to deal with. But that's, that's all I wanted to say for this video, guys. If you have any questions on how to wear the outer garments for blues or any additional blues questions, please feel free to let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And that is all, folks. Until next time. Toodles.